Hi beautifuls, welcome back to my channel. Now as many of you know, June is the month that we celebrate every color of the rainbow because June is Pride Month. Hence, my shirt today. It's an interactive shirt as you can see. It's now in today's video, we're gonna be doing a Pride inspired makeup look. <laughs> and hopefully it goes well. I'm just really hoping that it does. Every time that I do these videos, it makes me tingle and it makes me so nervous that I just don't know how it looks at the end, but I'm really hoping that it's gonna be good and hoping that you can learn from it. As a beginner, like me, as a beginner, <laughs> <laughs> that there are some tricks and fun stuff that you can learn. Anything pride and anything with the rainbow really catches my eye, especially when it comes to creative stuff and makeup. So I think earlier this month, Morphe released a pride collection, another pride collection, and I just had to review them because I think that last year's collection was nicer than this year. Some people might agree and some people might not agree. So I purchased the Morphe Pride Setting Spray and the Morphe A Better World. <laughs> it's a brush collection. I chose not to purchase the palette because it's very small and it's the same price as last year. And I think that last year's was more comprehensive in terms of thought that you have so many colors it was a pride it was really a pride palette there's so many colors in the palette but this year it's kind of different in terms of the colors of the palette you only have six colors or nine i think and it's not as colorful as it was last year so i decided not to purchase the palette knowing that i have many palettes as well but the brush collection would be really good and the setting spray as well so that's the only thing i purchased from Morphe for their pride collection and we're gonna try it out today it's still fresh you guys it's still fresh from the package, you guys. So the brush collection has six brushes. It has an all over lid brush. It has an oval camouflage brush, a pro firm blending brush, a pointed pro blending brush, and a small chisel detail brush, and a detailed liner brush. All the prices will be linked down below, so you don't have to worry about that. If you wanna know how much this costs, it will be down below. Note that it's also in Australian dollars because I purchased them in Australian dollars as well. I actually like the casing, I feel like, it's really, really cute. It reminds me of a pencil case in um, <laughs> primary school. <laughs> oh, look at that. It has a gradient effect. They're also really nice as well. They're synthetic, but they're nice. I like it because it's white here and it's like gradient here. It looks really classy. And there's like Morphe, of course, in the silver. I wish they just had the names though. <laughs> like if it's an M433 or an M518, I wish they had that. So we're gonna try to use all these brushes in our makeup look today. Hopefully it goes well. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. I already set the base up, put some foundation on, put some concealer on, bake my face a little bit. I also did my eyebrows. If you wanna know how I did my eyebrows, I'm gonna link the video right here somewhere. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the eyeshadows. I actually placed powder here just in case um, the eyeshadow falls so I could just like wipe it away. We're gonna start with this eye. So my idea and my concept would be a cut crease. You know, the thing about makeup is that the more you think of it, the more it doesn't look really nice and the more it gets complicated. I've learned that as you go with the flow and as you go through it, then it eventually goes well. <laughs> so I don't want to overthink it. So we're gonna go with the cut crease moment and we're gonna do a rainbow inspired fire and ice kind of situation. Oops, sorry, I had to pause for a moment because I forgot to put the base in my <laughs> eyeshadow. <laughs> so now I have the base and it's the lighter shade of the concealer that I have. So for this side of the eye, I am gonna take these shades over here and these shades over here just to create that fiery warm look. We're gonna take the orange in the James Charles palette and we're just gonna draw over our crease. more like it. So now I have the orange in place. I am gonna take this color right here. Yep. The darker orange. And just hover it over the eye. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna connect that with the red. Cool. And pull it up a little bit so you have something like that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the blending brush from the morphe pride palette and we're just gonna connect everything together we're gonna like put the shadow up the thing about having 
orange in my eyeshadow is that it doesn't really look as nice as I hope it would be because I have like a yellow dark skin tone and sometimes you just need to tap and add more orange in there so it will be like visible. So with the same brush I'm gonna dip it into the shade over. <laughs> Struggle is real. <laughs> here and then after that I'm gonna dip it into the shade over here. Okay. I'm gonna fade it out a little bit going to the top. I'm happy with how that looks for now. Now I'm gonna take the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. It is a full coverage eyeshadow base which you can use to cut the crease and it has a brush in it already. So that makes it so much easier. The thing that I've learned with cutting creases, you always have to be very careful. I'm happy to cut my crease right above my crease. The shape of my eye is really small. The space here is really small. So I'm, I tend to cut my crease a little bit above the crease. The trick about using this cut crease canvas concealer is that you don't have to use so much. You just have to use a little bit and then it spreads out because it's very thick. The formula is very concentrated. Now I'm going to take the chisel brush and I am going to pick this color over here and I'm going to apply it in the crease. We're going to start from the top where the crease is. Okay, wait, it's not working for some reason. I need another brush. It kind of looks different in person than in camera. In person, you can see like it's really, really pink. Now, before I go to the lower part of the eye, I'm just gonna wipe out the excess powder. We're gonna take the chisel brush and we're gonna dab it to the color purple. This one. This one. <laughs> and we're just gonna put it at the very end of the eye. Just like that. Extend it a little bit. And then we take the lighter purple, just put it in the middle. And then we take the pink, the bright pink. And then we're just gonna blend that all together. Yes. Now be very careful with the lower eye because you don't want to look like you have a huge eye bags or that people <laughs> just punch you in the face. So you really have to be careful it doesn't cover your eye bag. Now using this tapered brush, I'm just going to clean the sides up and make sure that everything looks really symmetrical. I'm going to use the same Revolution cut crease. And then I'm just going to put a white eye liner on the waterline to make the eyes pop. That's one eye almost complete. Now I'm gonna go quickly off camera and do the other eye with a different color shade. Although the principle is the same, but it's a different color shade. So I'm gonna choose these cool colors in the palette. These cool colors over here for the other eye and I will be right back. So that is the other eye done. I had to color the other eye with the cool palette and that's how it looks. Now for the finishing touches, I'm just gonna use the Pout Balm by Revolution for my lips. I've tried this before and this is actually pretty good. It's a thick formula. Now for the final touch, Morphe Setting Spray in the Pride Collection. Mm. Mm. It smells very flowery, floral. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
I want to hear your thoughts. Which one do you like? Do you like the warm side more or do you like the cool side more? Please do let me know in the comments below. So that is all for today. We got there eventually at the very end. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share this video. I really, really appreciate it if you would. I will see you in the next one. Keep your gold shiny. Bye.